Yo, what's going on guys? It's that time of the week again, so let's find out what's been going on around the league starting from Monday. The Philadelphia Eagles signed defensive tackle Gabe Wright to a one-year deal. TMZ Sports reports New York Giants wide receiver Roger Lewis was arrested on an OVI charge in, in Ohio over the weekend. Free agent wide receiver Stedman Bailey is still hoping to return to the NFL. Don't forget Bailey was the player who got shot twice in the head uh, back in 2015, so the fact he's even still alive, let alone wanting to come back and play, is just incredible. The Seattle Seahawks signed quarterback Austin Davis, not named Kaepernick. <laughs> he won't sign. He, Kaepernick won't get a job now until the season starts. That, that's my project. That's my prediction. Any, prediction anyway. The Baltimore Ravens signed cornerback Brandon Boykin and released cornerback Kyle Arrington. The San Francisco 49ers signed defensive end Elvis Dumerville to a two-year deal. Um, Obviously, I made a video about that. Um, I'd just like to take back what I said regarding him not making the roster. Um, at the time, I didn't realise it was going to be a two-year deal. I just thought it might have been a one-year you know, veteran type of deal. But, um, yeah, I, I take that back. I think he obviously, I think he will make the team now. So, uh, I apologise for that judge, uh, error in judgement. Carolina Panthers cornerback James Bradbury has been diagnosed with a broken left wrist but is expected to be ready for training camp. The Boston Globe confirms Mike Gillisley uh, would appear to have the inside track on the Patriots starting running back job. The Buffalo Bills released wide receiver Colby, uh, Colby Listenbeek and signed wide receiver Richard Ross. The New York Jets released linebacker David Harris. Oh, he's been there for a while as well. The Kansas City Chiefs head coach Andy Reid confirms Tyreek Hill is taking over as the team's number one wide receiver following the release of Jeremy Macklin. Well, if if Hill suffers from that famous sophomore slump, then that may be a decision they come to regret. But hopefully it, it works out for them. Ex-49ers cornerback Tremaine Brock has been charged with felony domestic violence and misdemeanor uh, child uh, endangerment following his April arrest. Brock, Brock is accused of punching his girlfriend in the face and strangling her, inclu uh, including while she was holding their one-year-old child. He faces up to five years in prison if convicted. What a moron. Ex-Bills coaches Rex and Rob Ryan have been accused of assault stemming from a bar fight over the weekend in Nashville. Uh, I've seen I've seen one of the videos, I think there's two of them now. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out because it's just the Ryans being the Ryans. It is classic. The New York Jets reached out to retired wide receiver Steve Smith to engage his interest in playing this season. Uh, I don't think he's going to come out of retirement, if I'm honest. The Baltimore Ravens released tight end Dennis Pitter. Um, I'm sure you've heard the story by now. He suffered a third hip injury. That's going to be tough. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's the end of his career as well. Uh, the fact that he even came back from two hip injuries and then had the season he had last year. Um, it's unfortunate it's happened again. And I don't think, I think that might be the end of his career, if I'm honest. Uh, you know, to come back twice, like I said, to come back twice is a miracle. Um, but at the third time, I think if, if he decides to push, uh, keep pushing at it, I think he's going to push his luck. So I think that might be the end of his career. And that, would be, and, and that is an absolute shame because he, he, he had an amazing potential to have an amazing career. New Orleans Saints defensive tackle Nick Fairley is waiting on a third opinion on his heart condition. Head coach Sean Payne said the first doctor's opinion was for Fairley to retire. Um, with all due respect to Nick Fairley, when it comes to your heart, it's not something you want to, you know, push or you know play about with. If, if your heart's playing up, I mean, you're playing a physical sport. Your heart rate's going 100 miles an hour for those 30 or so seconds. Do you really want to? Do you really want to push your luck with that? Um, you know. I think he, I think he, he should retire if, if his heart is as bad as what's being made out anyway. The Detroit Lions signed offensive tackle Tony Hillis. Ex-Bills wide receiver James Hardy has died at the age of 31. Uh, I think his body was found floating in a river. I'm not I haven't read as to why he as to how he died, but uh, rest in peace, my man. The Kansas City Chiefs signed defensive tackle Cam Thomas. The NFL suspended Bills wide receiver Walter. Uh, Powell for four games for violating the league's policy on performance enhancing drugs. The New England Patriots signed wide receiver Julian Edelman to a two year extension. Money well spent. The Arizona Republic reports Cardinals linebacker Dion Buchanan is questionable for the first couple of games of the season. Uh, I think because he, he went underwent ankle surgery. I, I talked about this about a week or two ago, I think it was. 
Uh, so well, that's going to be a huge loss for them, at least for the beginning part of the season anyway. The New York Jets released wide receiver Quinton Patton, formerly of the Niners, obviously the name familiar to me, and signed linebacker uh, Spencer Pacinger. There's reports as well that they're going to release Eric Decker. Uh, it hasn't been official, made official yet, but it's probably going to happen, so he's another one who's going to hit the free agent market. I don't think he'll be a free agent for long, though. The Buffalo Bills running back Jonathan Williams has been found not guilty on his DU, uh, 2016 DUI case, which I suppose is good news. And finally, free agent running back D'Angelo Williams is expected to join Impact Wrestling. What? So that wraps up the week's events, guys. I hope uh, you're all caught up to, up to date now. Any news I missed out on you want to talk about, be sure to leave a comment below. Uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you for the next video.